this is Amy with Well Mommy Scrapping and welcome to the Christmas in July YouTube hop. I want to thank Becky for inviting me along on this month long hop. You will find a link to the next person in the hop down below so please make sure to visit their channel next. So this month is for me going to be about finishing my journal your Christmas album for 2018. I have gotten it started and I've actually done pretty well with it up until right before Christmas. And then Christmas break happened, which you would think, hey, hey, Christmas break, you can get a ton of stuff done. Yeah, I do get a ton of stuff done, a ton of sleeping and a ton of relaxing and very little scrapbooking. So I have pulled some supplies and I, well, earlier today I went through and made a list of the different things I still wanted to include in this album. And one of those things was my cover page because the backside of Santa with a piece of washi tape is not exactly what I want to consider my cover page. So I am going to use this as my background paper. I need to trim it to six by eight. It was the paper that came in, um, came with a snap album that I had and I just decided I didn't like it. So. I'm now using it in this instead of as a divider. So what I'm going to do is use these green and gold glitter foam and punch out, well not punch, die cut the letters uh, JYC for Joan of Your Christmas and the year. So I will be right back.
All right, I am back and I have my letters whoop, cut and numbers cut. Um, if you do, if you have a manual die cutter, oh my gosh, invest in some of this adhesive glitter foam because then you will always have glittery letters and numbers. Love it. So I've decided this is going to be kind of like a cross piece. And it was, let's see if I can get that straight. I'm going to cut it two inches. It was what was left over after filling in a pocket for one of um, I cut down a six by six page to make a four by six card. So this is what was left over. And these, they're, it's Mad for Plaid Christmas. It's a 2018 collection by Photoplay. And um, I like that their six by six pads are two sided. So what I was thinking about doing is kind of having this be a band across the middle of the page. And then I have these, which if you recognize them, you have been around for a little bit of time. They are from Chamel's Christmas Magic Collection, which came out eons ago. At least it feels like eons to me. Oh. I would love to have another one of these collections. Um, I did not get a lot of the 12 by 12 paper because I'm not much of a Christmas person. But I got the 6x6 pad and tons of different embellishments. And I still, what I didn't use in my album that year, I think that was the 2015 album. It was the first year I did Journal Your Christmas. So... I went and have saved every scrap of paper, every little embellishment. Like I have a whole bunch of these two by six pieces of paper left over. And what I was thinking about doing was tucking them in. That way they, I can actually get them onto a layout. But first I want to, so my question is, should I do JYC? And then put the year. So I was thinking about centering it, which is what I normally do. But now I'm wondering if I shouldn't put like it up here and kind of down here. I actually like that a lot. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's put the Y in first, since that will be my center. We'll kind of make it bouncy. You can see, so I still have, um, lately I've been bad about starting Journal Your Christmas and then finishing it like in November of the following year. <coughs> Excuse me. But with the plan that I have, I should get it done and get everything in there that I want to get in there before this hop is over. Or actually as this hop is over, I guess I should say. So I've pulled some other things. Now I have these Christmas tree breads from Making Memories. Um, and Making Memories has been gone for quite a while, unfortunately. They were an awesome scrapbook company. And I found this pack of gold Christmas tree breads that I had never even opened. So it is was my goal this year to kind of use a tree bread, I guess technically last year, my goal with this album, to use a Christmas tree bread on every page somewhere. So I'm planning on doing that. And I also wanted to include, I know it's not the night before Christmas, but I just really like that phrase. And I think I'm going to grab one of my tiny scissors. There they are. I think I'm going to fishtail the ends. And ink it, of course. 
and then I will put this across the middle since I didn't put my journal your Christmas title there all right get all the little triangles down inking so I'm just using what ink is left over on my black foam ink tool I'm like what's that called almost said thingy I'm like yeah I can actually find the correct words so I still use the rectangular ones because for my we're gonna do foam how many pairs of scissors can I use in one video <laughs> let's find out um, I use the rectangular ones for my dis distress ink and then I have the round ones that I use for my distress oxide that way I do not mess them up plus I already had a whole bunch of the rectangular ones and I didn't want to waste them because those suckers were expensive I remember looking for them when they first you know were like everybody was using them like I couldn't find them anywhere all right let's scoot that over a little bit all right, so I think I'm going to put this right here. It kind of breaks up that pattern a little bit. And then So when brads were a thing, I refused to get the brad tool. Now that brads are like rarely used by anybody, I was like, "Ooh, I need a brad tool." Yeah, I don't know. It's how my brain works. So I've got to figure out where I want to but I kind of want to put it on this globe. Did you see? Just see how easy that goes in? And then watch this. Look at that. And I did not destroy my fingernails. Because I've done that with other things lately. <laughs> okay. So, I also have these Studio Calico Snowflakes. Right, let's go ahead and stick this sucker down. And I have had this package of snowflakes for I don't know how long. I mean, I don't even know when they put these out. Is there a date on here? 2012. I have probably had them since 2013. Knowing me, I'm always a little late on some of these new, some of those fads or trends I guess they're not fads but whoo pick that sucker up again there we go but I want to use them and my th I think what I'm going to do is use them up on this page this is where this brad tool comes in handy again so then I can poke everything out Hopefully I will remember to speed this part up and you will not have to listen to me make idle conversation as I poke out centers of snowflakes. Of course, knowing me, I also forget to do that. I'll put that one right there. Something about these the centers of they're not really centers, are they? But these are the ones that remind me of like little insect eggs. They're like, Ugh. I don't know what it is. But you know what I should do? What I should do is when I poke out this other one, I should poke it out on this. Since I'm planning on using them all up.
look at all these little threads. What? I'm not going to worry about them. I am going to say I can deal with them. We'll see if I can actually deal with them. That one right there. And I've got two more then to put in here. Let's put this one up there. And that one right there by Santa. And look at that! I'll cover this before I hurt myself with it. So, I just need a little bit of mixed media on here. And I am going to just drip little bit of this ink. So this is the Liquitex Iridescent Bright Gold Acrylic Ink. So I will let those drops dry. And that was the other thing I wanted to do a lot more in here is to include mixed media. So Mixed media, the little Christmas tree, and oh, using my embossing um, folders. Those are the things I wanted to do. I wanted to use more of. So here is the page. I will have some still shots coming up. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And then check out the link for our next video in the Christmas in July YouTube hop. I will see you in a few days with my next page for my Journal Your Christmas album. Bye. Thank you.